are standing here in what is known as a caldera, the inside of a volcano. This volcano is a super volcano and at one point it was the largest volcano that ever existed on the face of the planet and here we are walking right around on it. The surface in some parts is very acidic, in fact the sign as you can read says in thermal areas the ground can be only a thin crust above boiling hot springs or scalding mud. There is no way to guess a safe path. New hazards can bubble up overnight and some pools are acidic <coughs> enough to burn through boots. More than a dozen people have been scalded to death and hundreds badly burned and scarred. So even still this is a very dangerous place. Poisonous gases can come up out of the ground, chlorine gases, sulfur, sulfuric gases, things that can end your life in a breath. But why is it doing this? Why does everything look like this? What caused it? My speculations are meteorite impacts. Oh yes, you heard me correctly. There's one that existed and it hit Antarctica and it came up with such massive force that it shot up out of all the lava that is here. And this ended the Mississippian and Ellenberger time zones. And when I drill in America, in North America, I come across black obsidian. What was that caused by? What made the earth turn into black glass? Two things. Meteorite impact combined with volcanic activity. This caldera is the super volcano and I suspect that it ranges in size from Yellowstone National Park to Mount St. Helens and then when it went off it ended all the dinosaurs in life as we know it some 500 million years ago. What it leaves behind today is just beauty and the possibility to come again. Since those 500 million years, we've had 28 ice ages. Proof in the Great Salt Lakes, Salt Lake City, Utah. And we've had these ice ages, and these ice ages have come and gone. Will they come again? Oh yes, yes they will. Down here we see the super geyser that's known as the Grand Geyser. Look at it go off. And it's going off with such magnitude and force because the earth is shifting. The sun shifted its magnetic poles from the North Pole to the South Pole around 2001. And it'll do it again at around 2012 and so will the earth. And when the earth does, it might distinguish life as we know it. These volcanoes might go off and the sun might be shut out. When I shot that footage in November of 2008, it started to look like Yellowstone was picking up a little bit of activity on the surface. But towards the end of 2008, the United States Geological Survey picked up something pretty interesting. What they picked up was December 27th, 2008, well, a couple hundred earthquakes going off up to December 31st, 2008. A lot of earthquakes going off and now January 1st, 2009. A lot of earthquakes going off. I think it's time for us to take our own scientific advice seriously. We have technology, we have it in place. We have experts and scientists and right now the United States Geological Survey has recorded hundreds of earthquakes recently in the Yellowstone National Park area. So this is a Yellowstone warning. These are the earthquakes that are happening around right now. And the fact is there's a hundred thousand people that hang out there right now for a vacation. And this is the list 
of all of the earthquakes that we've been having lately. I'm going to speed it up here so that you can see. But folks, this is kind of the time to leave. We're going to go back up again to scroll back up. Again, this is information from the United States Geological Survey. The geologists have always started to like to measure earthquakes and our super volcano is showing some activities and signs of life. Therefore, I ask that some politicians or everybody that can get together with your politicians or your friends or your local advisors and ask that everybody leaves the caldera, the surface of Yellowstone National Park immediately. We have a potential eruption on our hands. Again, this is January 1st, 2009, and we have had almost 500 just in the last week eruptions and earthquakes at Yellowstone National Park. We've got potential bulging at the surface, and this would be a good time to start evacuating. Again, this is January 1st, 2009, and we have a warning kind of going out with the United States Geological Survey. And with that, if you'd like to keep on tracking information, you can do it on the Internet through the United States Geological Survey and track it actively. Or you can see a link to this video, video and what we put up actively at www.worldwidewaterplan.com. We're standing here in what is known as a caldera, the face of an open volcano. Many people have visited this famous caldera and have not even realized that that is in fact what it is. I'm standing not too far from Old Faithful in Yellowstone National Park in the great state of Wyoming in the United States of America. And around us, all around us, are hot springs, such as this one behind me. It's going off right now. And it's going off of a hot spot caused by volcanic lava underneath the ground that is boiling the water to a point where it steams up and erupts. But what most people don't realize is the fact that some 500 million years ago, this place was the end 